Hey everybody, Jig and Jerry. You know, in this quick clip, I want to talk to you a little bit about the Akuma SRT Inshore Premier Fishing Rod. You know, I got to use this fishing rod uh, a little bit lately and test her out. And uh, my findings were pretty good. So, I'd like to go over some of the details about this rod. So, check this out. Well, all right, let's start by talking about the handle. As you can see here, it's a split grip, okay, with a nice look of carbon fire, fiber mesh right here done in almost like a turquoise. It's actually a really good looking rod. The wrap is like a, uh, a, a gray metallic, okay. Um, I think that's a really good look. It matches a lot of reels too that way. It's a cork handle and um, you know, it's what I like about the operation, and it's a, it's a Fuji reel seat. So, you know, it's not a cheap knockoff reel seat. It's a full Fuji reel seat. And I love the little bit longer cork front end above the reel. Uh, you know, they've been getting, a lot of rods are made without that at all now. And sometimes if they do, they're really short little nubs. Which when you're fighting a fish and you, you're not just holding it right over the reel like this, okay? When you're not holding it like that and you want to bring your hand over the reel and then put the butt up against your hip and fight a fish, it has just enough handle to do that and fight a fish comfortably. So I like that about the rod. And as you see, you come down the rod here, you can see again, it has that nice look of the carbon mesh there. Um, and it says Okuma really nice in a silver. And then you come down in silver and you can see the SRT inshore premier fishing rod really well uh, again you have the wrap here now that wrap here that extra wrap is uh it's helped to puddle up the epoxy okay over the name so you got a nice layer of epoxy here now that's great because you have a lot of rods that you'll probably notice that um they don't have anything over the name they get the name painted on the rod and then the name starts to chip and flake all over the rod it makes you feel like you have a really cheap rod and it looks nasty and some people like their equipment to stay looking very nice for quite a while anyway now the coating on this blank is fantastic um i, I have i did not baby this rod at all i've been using this rod a lot lately okay and what i've noticed about it is i bundle it up with a bunch of rods and just put it in the car and it has not chipped, scraped, scratched, or nothing. And that's including fishing with it. Now, the guides here are pretty good. And we'll go over the guides here in more detail in a minute. But let me show you really quick what I caught with this rod so far. And then we'll go over the rod in a little bit more detail. Here you go, guys. Is your nice flounder. Oh yeah, that's a nice day. Uh -huh. Great one. Okay, did you like that? Yeah, I like that because, uh, you know, catching the inshore slam, that's what everybody's targeting, especially here in the low country. But there are other species that this rod would be great to catch. Now, this rod that I'm using here is a 7 foot 6. I really prefer a 7 foot for artificials, but in this case, a 7 6, that's what I'm using. Um, I did throw artificials with it. This rod ha has, it doesn't have a really fast action at the tip. It's more of a long bow, a little bit more of a shock and a curl to it when under a load, which really made this rod here fantastic to use, okay, 
fantastic to use with live bait. That's right, live bait. I used mud minnows, live finger mullet, live shrimp, Carolina rigs, free flipping live bait, and because of its length being 7.6, I used the popping cork technique and had a blast, as you can tell. Now, this rod, we went over, you know, why I like this wrap here and everything. The blank material here, okay, is a 30-ton carbon inshore blank, okay? And the guides, these guides look like another brand that I do not like. I'm not going to tell you what that brand is, but I do not like them because the other brand has a flat-faced insert right here and really cheap inserts, and they break and shatter and crack all the time, and you use braid with it, and it scrapes the coating off your braid, and it's horrible. But these right here are actually a C-guide, okay? They're a C-guide. They are a 316-grade stainless steel frame, and they have a zirconium insert. Now, this insert is nice, and it's rounded, which makes it help when you're using braids. It's a lot smoother. Your braid lasts longer. It doesn't fare it up and get it all messy. Um, another thing is when you're reeling in under a load with an uh, inexpensive guide with a flat face, it sounds like you're reeling in a sewing machine across your guides. You hear that zzz, 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 zzz as you're reeling in. It scrapes the coating off your braids, and braided line is expensive. I did not see that. That did not happen with this rod, which made it great, which will help me in the longevity of my expensive braided lines I would use with this rod. Now, I also tried this rod with monofilament, and it did fine. It did great. Um, the tip on this rod is pretty good as well. Let me show it to you really quick here. Let me slide it down. Here, the tip is very well done. It's a beautiful tip of the rod. It has a nice rounded insert again on the inside. Now, these inserts are pressed. These are pressed inserts. So, they're a deep press, and I like that because it really helps lock those inserts in. You're not just counting on just the epoxy that holds them in. Well, hey, if you're interested, take a chance and buy yourself an SRT Inshore Premier Fishing Rod by Okuma. Uh, I don't think you'll regret it. I seem to enjoy it, and uh, I really couldn't find uh, a flaw with it. All right, guys. Have a good one. Nice red, guys. Nice red. So that's my Akuma SRT Inshore Premier Rod.